Welcome back, everybody. We're now joined by Dolly and Greg Tuberty, who brought along two Furry Friday guests this week. We have two cats to show you guys today. So thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, Zach. Thanks for having us. So Dolly, we'll start with the cat that's on your lap here. Tell us a little bit about this cat. This is a male. Um, it's a stray. Uh, we don't know how old he is, guessing maybe one, two years of age. Has had all of his shots except for the rabies. Um, he's a very lovable cat. He is just loving any kind of attention that he can he can get. But he's 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 a nice cat. And he is up to date, as you said, on on shots, vaccinations. He is. He is. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. The only thing that would be missing would be the rabies shot that he okay. would need. And what type of home would we be looking for for him? You know, he seems to be d good with other cats, obviously. And we've had cat uh, dogs coming and going seem to be fine so I think he would be great with 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 any home okay yeah. so very versatile cat here now Greg uh, you also have a cat I understand uh, was a stray also I do this young lady was brought in as a stray and she's got a little different story behind her Zach she has had a broken pelvis um, paws to help for pets has uh, sponsored her and had that tended to she's got about another four weeks of uh, light duty if you will before she can be out running around. Um, we expect she should be fine after that. She's on pain meds at this time. Has not been spayed, is up to date on her shots except for uh, rabies. Um, she's a little docile from what I can tell right now, but that might have to do with the recovering and the, the pain meds. Nice little cat. She's pretty young. Yeah, about a year old, they guess, here at Metro. Um, make somebody a nice pet. Good way to start off with her being that young. So she needs a home and, and definitely uh, needs to be kept up with the uh, the vet visits for sure. Exactly. Yeah. Again, like we said, that four more weeks of uh, being tended to carefully and then follow it up with a vet, whoever they may have as a vet that they can take her to. And we definitely wish her a speedy recovery, and we want to find both cats here a home. So walk us through the process of how somebody... If I could just add one more thing about the cat. When we talk about light duty, it does need to be crated um, when you're not around it because it's really very important that um, it's um, staying pretty calm, you know, while it's, while it's healing. But after that four weeks, then you can take it out and it could probably be left alone, you know, there, so. There, there is a recovery period. There is, there is, yeah. And most definitely get a checkup after about a month just to see, you know, how, how she's doing with, with the vet that they choose. So, and then as far as adopting the, um, the pets, they are residing at Metro, so they can give Metro a call and they can let them know what they need to do to uh, adopt the animal. Um, one thing they do have to offer that Greg has in his lap is a training video that offers great tips on, on how to take care of an adopted cat or an adopted dog, so. So a great little DVD here. Uh, it could be a great resource to learn how to train your adopted pet. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Terrific. And so, that's offered free of charge from Metro. All right. So come down to Metro, visit some of the cats and dogs, visit these two cats we have here today, see if they'd make a good fit, and maybe uh, pick up that DVD as well. That's right. That's correct. All right. Well, Dolly and Greg, thank you so much for taking the time this afternoon and showing us two great cats who really need uh, somebody to love them. You're welcome. Thank you, Zach.